Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday. I'm like, it's Friday the 13th. Oh my gosh. So, you know, I, I, I don't even know what to say about the craziness that's going on in the world right now. Um, but just to let you know, on my channel, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep reviewing. Today I've got a fun video about my most favorite scents for Bath and Body Works and my least favorite for spring. So I think this is going to be a fun video. Um, I don't want to ignore what's going on in the world. Um, I'm being proactive. I actually went to the grocery store this morning. You can't find toilet paper anywhere. I think my biggest advice to people is go and buy some toilet paper today. It's so weird how like toilet paper has become like the touch point that everything everybody's running out of toilet paper go figure um I, I am you know I'm in Ohio and we did shut down our schools until April 3rd which I think was a good move um because you know with kids like being home for spring break and a lot of people are still traveling I don't think that was a bad thing so I, you know I'm keeping my eye on the situation like we all are but I also don't want to um abandon what I'm doing because I love doing this this is so relaxing to me this is one of the things um that is keeping me calm through all of this. And I am, you know, hey, I, I can still order online. So I have um, Goose Creek is coming, all of their new Easter candles. I've got the new super fruit line from Victoria's Secret coming. I just ordered the um, illuminating shimmer mist from Bath and Body Works in the Fiji. I'll do a whole review on that. And of course I got all the coconut <laughs> line early, which was nice, but I, I hear we have some new scents coming in. I, as soon as they hit online, I'll order them. I may go into the store, too. I, 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 I'm trying not to be, like, completely fearful. Um, I don't know. It just depends on, you know, what unrolls in the couple, you know, next couple weeks. Um, but I want one of those Easter bags <laughs> really, really bad. So I'll probably end up stopping in. Um, our mall isn't, like, super crowded usually in the morning. Um, so, you know, we got SAS to look forward to. That's only in, you know, two and a half months. So I'm, I'm really excited for what's coming up. So, on to the exciting part today. So, I grabbed a couple things, and I'm just going to go through quickly my favorite scents for spring. And I think aromatherapy is really important um, when you're kind of stressed out, especially with what's going on in the world. And... For those of us who collect Bath & Body Works, we got a lot of aromatherapy scents around. So I'm just going to go through a couple of my favorites. I, I, I don't really, I don't know if I consider these spring scents still, because I feel like spring kind of just arrived with tropical. But the two scents that are my go-to scents right now, in the evening especially, I am really glad I stocked up on the Dream in the Sky. This is the Lavender Clouds, um, sugared lavender, honey butter, and whipped vanilla. If you can get your hands on this, it's still on, um, I think they're still selling this online. Oh my gosh, you guys, this to me is so relaxing. I use this a lot. And I also use my tried and true strawberry shortcake. For some reason, this scent just makes me happy. It's still one of my favorites. So I've not, I've not abandoned my strawberry pumpkin. I said strawberry shortcake, didn't I? What is wrong with me? I swear, there's something in my brain that is channeling like strawberry shortcake. And I keep saying that it's strawberry pound cake. <laughs> But it's like my favorite. Um, from the new coconut line, you guys, these two are amazing. I cannot wait till everyone can get their hands on these. I'm really hoping they put these online soon. This coconut pineapple is so fresh and pretty. I just really love it. There's just something really relaxing about coconut pineapple. So this is definitely, I'm so glad I got my hands on that one. I'm also enjoying the coconut hibiscus, even though I don't like flowers as much. This one is actually kind of nice. Um, my two favorite scents so far, and I'm going to do a whole recap of the tropical line, but Bally Black Coconut Sands is definitely one of my favorites. Because this is kind of like that creamy coconut milk that I love so much. Oh, I love this one. This one is amazing. Um, and then I'm actually really liking the, the Fiji Sunshine Guabatini. This one is a little bit more peppy. Um, I don't know if this is like the most relaxing scent, but it kind of wakes you up. So I really am liking the Fiji. I'm so glad they brought that out this year. In terms of the aromatherapy that just came out, um, Relax is definitely my favorite. This is the Hawaiian Sandalwood Eucalyptus and Mandarin. I can honestly say that this is truly a relaxing scent to me. Um, it's kind of 
to me, it, it's like, it reminds me of Hawaii. It really does. I've never been to Hawaii, but what I think Hawaii would smell like. It doesn't have a sharp eucalyptus scent, but it's actually, like, really, really nice. Um, and the Easter line, I love the Somebody Loves You sprinkled donut scent. It reminds me of Fall and Christmas. Oh, my gosh, this one smells so good, you guys. This is the... Um, Buttercream, milk, and sweet vanilla. It smells so good. This is like, if you can get your hands, I don't know if these are still in line. I would definitely pick one of those up because those are really good. Um, I hate to even show these because they're sold out, but <laughs> I have to say my Going Bananas has been one of my favorite pocket bags. Oh my gosh, so it was funny. I was at the grocery store this morning and, um, you know, of course, every two seconds. I know hand washing is obviously the best defense, Um for this, but I don't know, it just psychologically makes me feel better if I touch a lot of stuff to put a little bit of hand sanitizer on. And it's funny because I, I swear within a three foot radius of myself, I was smelling like bananas. <laughs> I'm thinking people are probably wondering, why does she smell like bananas? But um, I don't know, like I just love, I bought like, I think I have like three or four of these. I really love this site, you guys. And if they would come out with a banana body care line, that smelled like this scent, I think I would be like the happiest person. Absolutely. We need a banana body care line very badly. <laughs> um, my next favorite one is this Flamingo Mango Madness. I really like this one. I don't know. I don't like to eat mango, but this one smells so fresh and pretty. I love this one. Oh my gosh. So I think I have a couple of these too. And then I'm also loving the uh, Pineapple Colada. This one isn't also... Um, favorite one for, for me right now. Um, and I'm kind of hoping, you guys, that... I don't know how production works at Bath & Body Works on, like, the pocket bags. I don't know if they can somehow... Um, like, if there's a shortage of the materials that go into them or what. But I'm really hoping that they can actually um, up production. I didn't look this morning, you guys, to see. I've been trying to check every morning on Bath & Body Works. Let me just check really quick to see if they have any... Um, pocket bags. I mean, it's kind of late in the day now, but um, it was either yesterday morning or the morning before. No, they're still all sold out right now. But you can keep checking because like I said, some popped up there for a little bit and they were available. So I would I would check every morning if you're trying to get pocket bags. Um, Perfect Peony is going to release uh, probably early April, I think I heard. I really like this scent, you guys, and I don't even like flowers. But Perfect Peony is, is a relaxing... Nice. I think I'm just excited for spring this year. Um, do we have the notes on this one? I can't remember. Um, you know what? They were online. But I really, really like like the freshness of this. I'm actually looking forward to seeing my flowers come up this year. I think um, that's the one bright spot with this whole coronavirus thing. I'm glad it's not happening like in the fall because I feel like um, at least we can, you know, maybe like stand on the porch, go outside, get a, you know, breath of fresh air. So I, I'm, I'm glad that it, the, the weather is getting nicer. Um, the two candles that I am like completely mad about, love these, love these this spring. Um, and I haven't gotten a lot of the spring candles. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, this toasted coconut s'mores in the ceramic top um, uh, jar my lid is just sticking. These, these ceramic tops are kind of goofy. This one smells so good, though, you guys. This is the Gooey Marshmallow Toasted Coconut Milk Chocolate and Graham Cracker, Golden Graham Crackers. Oh, my gosh. I was burning this last night. It smells so good. It just really makes you happy. It's a happy candle. Um, and then Mango Mai Tai. I have to review this one for you guys. I haven't even burned it yet, but I love this one cold. Mango Mai Tai is one of my favorite summer candles from Bath & Body Works. I'll just show you. I have an older one, an orange one, I think, with orange wax. This one is fresh mango nectar, exotic jasmine, and sun-kissed grapefruit. I love this one, though. It's so fresh and fruity. So, now, scents that I don't like. My least favorite scents for spring. And you know me, I usually like everything from Bath & Body Works, but there's a couple that I'm not liking. So, um, the first one is the Spring Has Sprung Soap. Now, the Spring is Spring Candle with the Tulips and Roses, I think I am keeping that. I, I still, like, it's really strong, but it's kind of growing on me. I don't like the linen and lavender in this one. I don't know. This one's just a little bit too sharp for me. I'm not super crazy about this one, although I love the, the bottle. That's adorable. Um, there's two of these. One of them I returned. There's a yellow bamboo one that just smells so, 
strong and woodsy, and I just, that scent is just awful to me. Fiji White Sands is okay. Um, I could take or leave Fiji White Sands. I actually have a foaming one that I have in the kitchen right now. I keep smelling my hands going, I'm not sure I love this one. The bamboo one is like the worst. I think that's my least favorite spring scent from Bath and Body Works is the bamboo one um, in the soap. Um, I haven't actually done a review on Reset yet because I just... This is my least favorite one of that aromatherapy scent. This is the Mediterranean Bergamot, the Neroli, and the Cedarwood. This has just got such a sharp scent on it. A lot of people like this one. So, I mean, it's definitely just me, but it, to me it's a little too pungent, <laughs> I think is the word. A um, couple of other things. I keep going back and forth on Bahamas. Like, this is the weirdest set. So, like, one day I'll wear Bahamas and I'll like it, and another day I'll put it on and then I'll be like, oh, I don't think I like it today. I don't know if it... A lot of people um, have said they think it changes after you wear it for a while. Like, it mixes with your body chemistry somehow, and it changes scent. This is, like, the biggest mystery for me, the Bahamas. It's funny because I actually like this in the body scrub, though. Go figure. And I like the, um, <laughs> I like the, the illuminating mist because it's pretty. <laughs> it's that nice pink. But Bahamas, I'm not, like, you know, if they didn't bring Bahamas back next year, I wouldn't necessarily be sad. Um, I want to love Sweet Bunny Berry. Um, the scent, this is supposed to be sugared plum, sparkling raspberry, and candied petals. It feels like a Christmas scent, and it doesn't feel as strong as I this, like. It almost has no scent to me. I don't know. I'm not on board with the Sweet Bunny Berry. I wish we had had more of like a vanilla, gooey marshmallow type scent with this one. Um, but I love the packaging, so it's like, how can you not like this bunny? So I'm kind of mixed on that one. Same with the Happy Easter um, Easter chocolate. This is just a really odd scent for me. Um, I was expecting it to smell straight on like, you know, milk chocolate. And what it smells like, and it kind of has grown on me a little bit, but what it smells like is like steamed milk with a hint of chocolate in it. So it's kind of eh. And then um, the one candle that I still, like I burned this one again, you guys. And I just can't get on board with this one. It just has such a... I don't know if I got a bad batch or what. This is the Sunny Lime with the ceramic lid. This is fresh squeezed lime, white peppercorn, and bright bergamot. I don't know. There's just something really odd about it. I keep getting, like, the pepper smell. I wish this was straight on lime. So this is my, like, least favorite candle, I think, that I've gotten so far this year. I mean, it's not... I mean, a lot of people... It's funny. People either have said on my comments... I really like it, or they said, I'm with you, I can't stand it. So I'm not really sure if we got a bad batch. You know, if we're just picking up a note we don't like, I don't know. I'll probably just keep it for the lid. Um, either that or I'll gift it to my mother-in-law. Use it for, you know, it, it probably would make a good summer outdoor candle. I, I use, um, I have a, like a patio set outside, and I, I always burn candles outside, but I always feel kind of bad because you can't get a good scent on candles a lot of times when you're outside. And I'm like, why am I burning um, these, you know, nice <laughs> fragrance candles, you know, outside when you can't really smell them. But this would, this would be, I, I feel you might scare away the bugs. <laughs> so I'm thinking about using this as an outdoor candle. So anyway, um, that is my most favorite, least favorite little haul for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know below what your most favorite and least favorite is. I'm really curious to see what everyone thinks. I love reading your comments. Um, I do try. I, I think I answer like 99% of my comments. And what I do is I usually answer them at night. So if you don't hear from me in the morning, you'll hear from me at night. So I enjoy reading comments. That's, that's something I, that's fun for me. So anyway, you know, keep on keeping, everybody. That's my motto for right now. There's nothing we can do, and we need something to keep our mind off of the world, so what better thing than Bath & Body Works? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, because I got more coming. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.